All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a credit card gun. This is the Trailblazer Firearms Life Card. I picked it up used um, from a site. I'm not going to use them anymore, so I'm not going to say their names. And American Pawn and Gun in Monroe, North Carolina, did the transfer for me. So a huge shout out to those guys for always helping out the channel. Uh, swing by, check them out, tell them 704 Tactical sent you over. So I actually held some in their shop. I've held some in other shops. But when I saw this on that website that shall not be named, uh, it was way too good of a deal to pass up. So I snagged it. It was used, but like new. So this is interesting because it's about the exact same size as a credit card in every dimension, but the width. And the width is actually pretty thin. So this easily slides into your pocket and is almost unrecognizable as a firearm when it's printing. Then you simply pull this latch down. It opens up to take the gun shape. And then you can pull this lever back and open it up to insert your round. It's safe to carry with a round in the chamber. Uh, and when it's all folded up, it can't fire. Even when you open it up and pull the trigger, it can't fire. You have to pull back the striker to cock it or the hammer, whatever you want to call this. And once you pull the trigger, it goes home and fires. Uh, and it works actually pretty darn well. Uh, when you first look at these, it's definitely a novelty, and that's kind of why I bought it. I don't know how long they're going to be around, um, and I was going to get the 22 LR version, but I figure, well, if it's actually sort of maybe even 1% or 2% practical, I'd rather have the 22 mag in the exact same package just because it packs bigger punch. But in reality, it's actually pretty easy to open up, so you can flip it out, cock that back, and you can actually deploy it reasonably quickly but you only have one shot. And then once it goes off, you have to pull the shell out by hand. Sometimes it can get a little stuck, and you know with 22, it can dirty up. Uh, but overall, it's actually pretty darn cool. So you can, once you open it up, you can actually store extra rounds in the side here. As you can see in the intro, it holds three extra rounds of 22 mag, and it's actually a pretty slick option. Um, is this something I would recommend for personal defense? Uh, really, no, no, um, not a knock to life card, but it's just, it's not practical in my opinion for a stressful personal defense scenario. You know, like maybe if you had time to like, you know, slowly sneak it out of your pocket and fold it open and then slowly cock it and only want one shot, then this might be your guy. But the, uh, the NAA, those little, uh, uh, NAA revolvers, they hold like five rounds of 22 mag with about the same barrel length. So honestly, five rounds of 22 mag in about the exact same size package, maybe a little wider, but really easy to hide. And it even fit in some belt buckles. But uh, for the novelty of something like this, or if you really didn't want to print and you just wanted to have like a, like, I don't know, like a backup to a backup to a backup, this would be pretty cool. It's well built. It functions great. It's really innovative and I love it. Like I'm really glad I added it to the collection. Honestly, I might grab a 22 long rifle version just to say I have it. Um, <sighs> I don't know really much else to say about it. The recoil impulse on the 22 mag is is pretty stout for a little gun like this. It definitely rocks it back into your hand. The sights themselves are just a groove in the top. It's actually fairly accurate at seven yards and in. I could easily hit, actually I could hit about six inch plates at seven yards, uh, no issues whatsoever if I took my time and was decent on the trigger. The trigger itself actually isn't that bad, and overall, for the price, it's definitely worth adding one to your collection as long as you don't really plan on using it for personal defense. Um, like I said, maybe there's some scenarios where this works, and it does work. Like, functions great, it works great, it's built great. Like, I, I wouldn't have a problem trusting it. It's just deploying something with this many intricacies and only having one shot, and then uh, it's pretty tough to reload under a stressful situation rather quickly. I feel like it's gonna be relegated to a novelty, a range toy, or just a really fun gun to just bring out to the range and have people shoot. But I do recommend it. Like I, I can recommend this gun. It's awesome. Again, a huge shout out to American Pawn and Gun in Monroe, North Carolina for helping me do the transfer. And uh, maybe we'll be doing some other shooting with this and shooting the 22 mag out of a short package like this at different types of material to see what kind of damage it can actually cause. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.